Touchscreen capable gloves are expensive to buy and usually don't end up working very well for all the money that you pay. We decided the technology could use some improvement and wanted to see whether conducting polymers could offer a solution. We first synthesized polyaniline by the rapid mixing method, then washed and filtered with ammonia to de-dope our polymer. We then dissolved it in N-methylpyrrolidinone, or NMP. We used an old cut-up t-shirt to test our polymer. We cut small squares as test material. We dipped a small square of this fabric into the NMP solution. You can see here that the polyaniline solution fully impregnates the fibers of the fabric upon immersion. We then place this fabric square into a vial to dry under high vacuum as NMP has a very high boiling point. After 8 hours we removed the fabric to see that it was dry. We then redoped our polymer by submersion in hydrochloric acid. Exposure to hydrochloric vapor was also used, but for best results, it seemed that we needed to again completely penetrate the fibers of the fabric. We then dried this by gentle heating and saw a color change to green, indicating that our polyaniline was redoped. We then measured the conductivity of various samples at different stages of the process. First, we tested plain t-shirt fabric before treatment, then polyaniline fabric before being doped, then freshly doped polyaniline fabric that had yet to be dried, where we see the highest conductivity. And finally, the polyaniline fabric that was doped and dry, which had decreased conductivity, but is still conductive. This was the material that we then used for our touchscreen proof of concept. To test our material, we show here that the winter gloves themselves in contact with the screen do not have the ability to interact with the capacitive touchscreen effectively. We then demonstrate that our doped polyaniline cloth opens the home screen easily and allows us to interact with the capacitive touchscreen while wearing gloves. This is a very crude prototype, but shows that conducting polymers could be an inexpensive way to make gloves conductive for wintertime smartphone use.